Your eye color says more than you think. It can trace your ancestry, reveal a mutation that changed the course of human history, and turn light itself into illusion. Maybe you've always thought your eyes were simply brown or blue, but what if they were actually gold, or gray, or something that changes with your mood? Eyes aren't just for seeing, they are signatures, stories, and sometimes even secrets. Today I'll explain every human eye color in this video. Brown eyes. Brown eyes are the most common eye color in the world, but also among the most complex. They contain a high amount of melanin, which absorbs light rather than reflecting it. This makes brown eyes look deep and grounded. They evolved as a natural defense in places with intense sunlight. Long before sunglasses existed, melanin did the work. In certain lighting like candlelight or late afternoon sun, brown eyes glow with warmth, not bright or flashy but rich and ancient, they feel like they hold memories older than words. Gray eyes. Gray eyes are not pale blue. They are a category of their own, with very little melanin and a special way the iris scatters light. Gray eyes appear soft and distant. They glow more than they shine. They do not reflect emotions easily. They stay calm. They are eyes that notice but do not reveal. Cold and quiet, but not cold-hearted, just harder to read. Black eyes. Black eyes do not exist in a literal sense. What we call black eyes are very dark brown. So dark they absorb almost all light. This makes them look black. These eyes are found where melanin is highest. They give off strength, stillness, focus. In stories and myths, black eyes are often linked to the unknown. In reality, they hold attention without asking for it. Blue eyes. Blue eyes have no blue pigment. What you see is scattered light. The iris has very little melanin. So when light enters, shorter blue wavelengths bounce back. This scattering creates the illusion of blue. All blue-eyed people share a common ancestor from about 6,000 to 10,000 years ago. A small mutation near the Black Sea reduced melanin in the iris. That one change allowed light to scatter instead of being absorbed. And so blue eyes began. Green eyes. Green eyes are rare. Less than 2% of the world has them. They are not a single color but a combination. A small amount of melanin darkens the iris. A yellow pigment called lipochrome tints the light. When these balance just right and scattering is added, the result is green. Green eyes are not steady. They shift with lighting, sometimes moss, sometimes jade, sometimes storm gray. They hold energy just beneath the surface. Quiet but intense. Hazel eyes. Hazel eyes are always changing. They are not one color but many. A blend of melanin and light scattering creates eyes that move between green and gold and brown. They react to the world, to the sun, to what you wear, even to how you feel. When you are excited, the green becomes brighter. When calm, the brown comes through. Hazel eyes are not uncertain. They are responsive. They reflect everything around them. Amber eyes. Amber eyes are rare and striking. They do not flicker like hazel or glow like green. They shine with a steady light. Amber comes from lipochrome without much melanin. It gives the iris a warm golden or copper tone. This color is more common in animals like wolves and owls. In humans it feels ancient, watchful, focused. Amber eyes do not need to move to say something. They just stay and observe. Heterochromia. Sometimes your eyes do not match. One is brown, one is blue or one eye has two colors in it. This is heterochromia. It can happen from genetics or development or simply by chance. It comes in three main forms. Complete heterochromia means each eye is fully different. Partial means part of one eye is a different color. Central means the color near the pupil changes toward the outer edge. These eyes feel like a mix of two lives in one face. They are not common but always memorable. Eye color is not just about appearance. It is about light, evolution, and how we carry the past. Whether your eyes are brown or gray or green or something in between they are unique. They do not only help you see the world, they also help the world see you.